one. This is also a really cool picture that I kind of stumbled across on social media featuring Playboy Carti Offset and Lucas Sabat at the Balenciaga Couture show the other day. And I loved all of it because, number one, I feel like Offset looks the best I've ever seen him look in terms of when the Balenciaga and his sort of designer sort of clothes. It feels like in the last couple of years or so, he has been kind of um, taken in open arms by the Balenciaga family in terms of them to sort of like use them as a muse and use them on runways and look books and stuff and just editorial things here and there and images and I feel like the first couple of times I saw him wearing Balenciaga he looks a little bit awkward I don't think it really kind of suited how he kind of dresses and stuff but it seems like over time he's kind of got more comfortable in wearing the things or maybe he's got more choice in terms of what he's able to pick that maybe suits his style a lot more but whatever it may be Offset looks incredible now in Balenciaga he looks really fucking good so big up offset then of course in the middle we've got the one and only playboy carty and he obviously has looked amazing recently in recent times wearing balenciaga wearing vetema i feel like recently that's kind of been his kind of staple go-to wardrobe on tour um on live appearance sorry on what he's doing on tour when he's doing his live shows in places other places too and other appearances when he pops up in terms of fashion shows and shit he's just been decked out head to toe in Balenciaga or Vetema and I would legitimately pay good money to see what his wardrobe is like in terms of his collection for Vetema and Balenciaga because it must be insane because he gets loads of old archive pieces that you can't actually get in stores anymore get sent to him courtesy of Vetema during you know from like the, the Demna era of Vetema and he also gets obviously the kind of newer stuff from Blenchard now that he's wearing now that he makes it look really good and I also like this new um, persona he's kind of using for himself in terms of the face paint when he goes to places I think it's really creative really cool it's sort of like he's alter ego when he's at these different places in terms of the playboy card that you see kind of day to or the playboy card that he is day to day and then when he kind of steps out of these shows i really really do like that so take everything about it um of course these new balenciaga rain boots that are due to be coming out soon i'm not really a big fan of i don't like how pointy the toes are and stuff but again i just like how different and sort of unique the look is and then of course on the right here we got lucas about who i think probably has looked his best um in recent times in terms of how he's dressing because i feel like from an outsider's looking point of view, it did feel like he was kind of maybe a little bit uninspired and not really getting the fits off as a way he was maybe getting them off in the past because, you know, back in the day, he was really snapping in terms of the outfits. But I feel like what he's wearing now in terms of the head-to-toe, it feels like Balenciaga that he's got at the moment in terms of an, it's a, what, a, a reappropriated or sorry, um, a redone version of their M65, it looks like, some big pants and these sort of like 3D loafer things that people are wearing nowadays. He looks really, really cool in this outfit too. So I think this is a the great and best way to sort of advertise and market what them is doing at Balenciaga and to kind of give people an idea of how it can be worn you know in kind of real time in real life with different people different body shapes different sizes and shit different sort of styles i thought they all looked fucking incredible there at the show and then of course the show itself the range of couture show was really something to behold especially when it comes to those what are they i think they're designed by bmw or something right the face mask i forgot who, who they'll buy but they looked absolutely amazing it sort of made the models look like um the tesla ai bot that's meant to be coming out very soon and then supposedly this bag was also designed in collaboration with bang and bang and Olufsen. it's sort of like a portable speaker that you can kind of carry around with you and play tunes out loud and stuff and annoy your neighbors so that was pretty cool to see but overall as a control collection you know it's just stellar work again from demna really 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 good stuff Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the of the couture stuff when it comes to Balenciaga. It's the stuff that I would go out and obviously buy because a lot of it I can't buy because it's incredibly, incredibly expensive. And obviously, it's only for a select group of people. It's meant to be a bit more exclusive in blah, blah, blah. what couture is in terms of avant-garde, in terms of highbrow. But in terms of what he's presenting and what he's kind of elevating to the level of couture, I really do like that. I really do like that conversation in terms of taking a denim suit, in terms of taking a hoodie, in terms of taking a pair of jeans and sort of telling you, hey, this is also couture i think is a really really cool way to kind of go about things oh so you're telling me those jeans that lucas wearing recently his ig pictures are from the condemned the blender couture collection jesus that's a that's a snappage isn't it that is a front and a half but yeah so i do like that idea behind you i mean he's taking hoodies he's taking jeans he's taking conventional non-couture items and elevating it to this really high level because for sure this is you know the amount of hours i've been spent to craft this hoodie or this pullover hoodie or zip hoodie to look the way it does the materials probably used are just crazy i'm sure um so that's pretty good to see um 
it's from obviously myself being a mostly of a streetwear head right because in terms of that look at that denim suit there's probably been a lot of time spent on it and made it to what it is at the moment um yeah so everything about it was absolutely incredible in that regard and then we 